today we want to show you how Danny and I use the Hoss two-wheel hoe to plow through our sweet corn. Last week it had rained quite a bit and it wasn't a heavy flooding rain but it had rained and packed the soil a little. And as you can see the corn, this is sweet corn, it was getting tall and we really needed to plow it. So it was plow or hoe, one of the two. And the Hoss two-wheel hoe, as you can see Danny plowed this row, it's looking really great. We, we really like this hoe. It does an awesome, awesome job. So two rows down, several more to go. Here, he's letting me try it. And yeah, I'm straddle the row and I'm having a little trouble here. But he shows you, I kind of get the hang of it and it goes pretty good. I'm slow, but it runs right over the corn and doesn't mash it because you have a wheel on each side and the two plows on each side throw the dirt up to the corn so it gets a better uh, established root system. As you can see, we, are, we have added fertilizer and this is throwing the fertilizer up into it. So covering it really well and this is before we get a heavy downpour yesterday this was last week when we were plowing this yesterday we got two inches in one hour that washed the whole end of the um, garden but we're hoping the sun will pull it back up and we will have to do some hoeing to straighten some of the rows back out but overall this is the way to go and I do believe most of the corn is going to be okay. It's just going to be a process of going back and doing some more to it later this evening. And as you can see, this thing does really great in this sandy, sandy soil that we have here. We are really enjoying this tool. So if you haven't already bought a Hoss two-wheel hoe and you have a pretty good soil, this works really well. Next time, it'll have to be something else going through here because that corn is already bending over. We have to stop occasionally and uh, pull some back up because we do cover some, but if you're very careful, it just comes right back up. And you can see some of the corn is still a little yellow. And that's from the temperature fluctuations we have. Okay, we've made it to the end of this row. Now, this is what it looks like. Danny's going to do the row next to the electric fence, guys. Okay, Danny is coming through here. This electric fence is still on, guys. He's trying really hard not to touch the fence. And he's not wanting to have to walk back to the barn to shut it off. This is wanting to finish this row really bad and not have to hope and not have to move a fence. This house tool is amazing, guys. Even a woman can do it. And a guy that don't want to move an electric fence. We hope you enjoyed watching how we use the house two-wheel hoe to plow through our sweet corn. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.